Welcome to Science Olympiad at Home. Hi, my name is Sherry Haug and I'm the Elementary Director for Science Olympiad. Today we're going to do Write It, Do It, an event that we do from elementary all the way up through middle school and high school and competitively. It's an event that tests the competitor's ability to clearly communicate in writing and then follow written directions as well. This is a two-person event. You're going to have one person that writes directions and you're going to have another person that is building from those directions. Now our event talks about written directions and we, we have this event because in science it is important to be able to write clearly and precisely no matter what sort of event or science experiment you're doing in class. This is also an event that covers common core standards as well as the next generation science standards, but maybe you don't want to do that writing for this event. That's okay. You're not in a science Olympiad competition. You're at home. So I'm going to show you three different ways that you could do write it, do it. The first way that we're going to show you how to do write it, do it is with stickers. So I have two sets of identical stickers. I've already used some of the stickers off of this set and I created this pattern. Either way, you need someone to create your model that is separate from the two people that are competing. So I have this set, then I did something that was more of a sports set for this set. So a second way that you could do right to do it is three-dimensional as opposed to the stickers and you could use Legos, Kinex, <laughs> Lincoln Logs, anything that you have, but again, you would have to have a second set of materials that were identical to what you built with. So in this case, not only are my colors of Legos exactly the same, but the size and shape are exactly the same. Now, if you wanted to do something that was more in line for what we would do during a competition, you could do something like this. This is just materials that I found laying around my house but I had to have two of all of these materials. I have a hanger. I have the exact same kind and color and length of ribbon. The same straws. I have Q-tips. I have parts of a Kinex. I have the Nerf gun bullets. And you're, <clears throat> so you could use any of those kinds of materials that you have around the house as well. Now I wanted to talk about something such as leaves. So leaves, you would think would be a great thing to use. We have, if you live in a place that has a yard of any kind, you could use any sort of leaves. And these look very similar. But again, write and do it is all about precise language and preciseness in the building. If you look very closely at these leaves, they are not exactly alike. So if you were to say something like, take the leaf with the end that looks like a caterpillar has started to eat through it, well, that would happen on this leaf, but it would not happen on this leaf. So things that are not identical will not work. Now, a tennis ball seems like that would work. Sure, one's scruffy and one's not. The only problem is when you turn my tennis balls over, they're two totally different brands. They would need to be the exact same brand so that when you're building, you could be precise in your language and say with the brand facing up or the brand facing down, that language has to be specific and precise. So let's talk about what Write It Do It looks like. Someone would create a model, in this case we're going to use Legos for the time being, and they would create a model for the team members that are going to be competing together. So in this case I have several different colors and shapes of Legos, and again I have an identical set of those Legos right here so that my two partners can have identical materials and be successful in their building. You're going to have the two team members sit. One could be in a different room, one could be, on, they could be separated by a piece of cardboard, they could have their backs together, but it's very important that there be no communication between the two of them while they're building. So you're going to give one team member the model that's already built. That team member is going to take their piece of paper and they're going to write down the directions on how to build this model. They're going to use color words. They can use directionality. 
They can use time on a clock, whatever it is, in order to get their point across. What they cannot do is they cannot draw any sort of pictures or use any sort of arrows in any way. Once their directions are complete, and you might want to put a time limit on this, you decide what you want that time limit to look like. The other person is going to take those directions and they're going to take those materials and from those directions they are going to try to build the exact same model. They have to take only the information that they've been given by their partner. If you decide you don't want to write all these directions down, you could tell them to somebody who would write them down and give them step-by-step -step directions and that way they could give them to the person that's going to be doing the building. If that person can't read the directions or doesn't want to read the directions, those directions could be read to them. But there cannot be any communication between the builder and the direction writer. Just remember, you might not get this right the first try. You may have to go back in, look at the directions that you've written and realize that you weren't as precise in the placement of your Legos or your stickers or your junk that you found in your mom's junk drawer as you needed to be. That's okay. Rewrite the directions, change the model. This is an activity that can be done over and over and over again with lots of different materials. Any way you do it, just make sure you have fun. Thanks so much. We're gonna start the five second timer. And then right before, rather right before it hits the, before it hits zero. And I've created. <coughs> <coughs> Your finger got in front of the camera. <laughs> Don't like any of what I just said. Now, of course, this isn't going to stand up when I've had it standing up all afternoon. Let's see if I can get this ribbon to help. How could there be a wet spot? I don't know. I used two sheets of identical stickers. This has been Science Olympiad at Home. Be sure to check out our website at www.soinc.org slash elementary. See you next time.